I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here's episode 38 of our Pokemon Scarlet Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we took on the fifth gym leader, the psychic gym leader, and won our badge. Now, unfortunately, as you can see here, we have some Pokemon that we didn't catch on there, uh, because for the first time in a long time, I had a blue screen of death during recording of uh, episode 38 before this episode of uh, episode 38. So, we caught a... I think we already had got three. We caught Sylveon, which was pretty exciting. A Knackle Stack. A Houndstone. Ain't nothing but a Houndstone. You guys missed me singing that. Ampharos. And, of course, Honchcrow. So, some pretty cool Pokemon we captured. Um, we battled some trainers. We were kind of just exploring. So, I mean, other than those catching those Pokemon, you didn't miss much. And, and I'm glad that it crashed here and not, like, in the uh, gym battle, if I'm being honest. But still, it was, you know, it sucks when that happens. Um, and scary, because, like, is it going to happen again? Now, usually, in the past, when I've had, like, uh, Blue Screen of Deaths, I found out that it was my webcam causing those issues. And yeah, we'd have already been here, of course. I was just making sure this is the uh, cave we've been in already. Um, it was my webcam. I have a uh, Logitech. I think it's a 920 or something. It's a very popular camera that people use for, for uh, recording and streaming. At least it was at one point. And uh, anyways, if you have... There's a, a, a an issue that has that it has with OBS. If you already have it plugged in, and then you open OBS, it can cause the OBS and your windows to blue screen of death and it happened to me a couple times it happened uh, when we were playing Borderlands 3 I want to say I think it was Borderlands 3 uh, on the finale I believe on the last episode it, it crashed on me which really sucked but uh, it kept happening me and I was like well, what the hell is going on is something going on with my computer and then I kind of was looking around and I found out that it was the webcam so this is the first time it's happened in a while and I did not have my webcam hooked up before I launched OBS. However, pretty much all day today, I've been kind of in and out, um, like editing videos, letting it just run, exporting videos, um, rendering videos. So I don't know if I was, was too much on my computer or what. I don't know what happened, but hopefully it was a one time deal. We'll find out. But, uh, anyways, we're going to go back to what we were doing. So we're actually. Funny enough, I was getting ready to leave this area anyways, because I spent a lot of time, like 20 minutes or so, which is about how much we lost in terms of uh, time for that video. Um, which is out here exploring a little bit. But I was going to start heading over to the next area, which is why we came over here to begin with. And uh, we were going to go start making our way. Well, hold on, there's a Flareon, a Glade, a Salazzle, and a Copper... Uh, copper jaw not copper jaw yeah yeah copper jaw okay well we'll kind of look around for a minute I don't see if one of these Pokemon pop up anywhere sorry I'm a Makuhita Klefki which we already have another Klefki which we already have Okay, Metacham and Metatite, which we have. Lycanroc, which we already have. Flaffy. That looks glitchy as hell. Can I jump down there? I don't think there's anything down there. Oh, hello, good goats. Mudsdale. I'm not seeing these Pokemon uh, that are on this mini map here popping up. I was very excited when we saw Sylveon. Um, did we catch... Actually, did we catch Sylveon before we went to the gym? We may have. That may be on camera. I don't remember because, like... Like I said before, when you record these videos in a row, sometimes they kind of blend in together. It's hard for me to remember exactly which episode that was. But I think it was, uh... During the uh, video that blue screen, unfortunately. But if not, then you guys saw my excitement. Um... 
I'm not seeing any of these Pokemon pop up, man. I think we're just gonna move on. I think we're gonna move on, dude. Yeah. Oh, we need Altaria, actually. Hold up. Hey, you down a minute. It was worth, uh, worth the effort. Alright, we're gonna hit it with a flamethrower. Should be able to survive, no problem. I'm gonna say this is a dragon type. Goes for Sing, which is pretty annoying. I can't remember either. Did we check the Pokemon after the gym battle, or was that during the uh, Blue Screen of Death episode? Um, but I checked the Pokemon, and we can buy Ultra Balls now, in case you guys missed that. Um, we can also buy, I think, Dive Balls, which I don't know if it has a better multiplier than uh, Net Balls. I don't. I think they're the same multiplier, so Net Balls to me is just better. It's Bug or Water Pokemon versus just like Water Pokemon. But I guess I can Google that real quick. Do net balls and dive balls have the same um, multiplier? And while that's go, oh god damn it! Please miss. No, okay. God damn it! I whoopsie. Uh, dive ball has a 3.5 times multiplier, and so does um, net ball. So net balls are just better. Ah, god, I can't believe I just took out that Altaria. Oh well. Life happens. We move on. Oh, hello, es es Espada, es Espada, Espanda, Espathra. I was even, I was, I was kind of close, but not really. So dive balls and net balls are virtually the same. I think net balls even cost less than dive balls, or they they might cost the same. But either way, I think uh, I think net balls are just better. Now dive balls, maybe you want the look of them for your Pokemon. That would make sense, I suppose. But that to me, that's the only benefit. Now we messed up on that Altaria. We did battle, like I said, we battled some trainers out here as well. Um, I don't think any of them had any like uh, Pokemon I haven't seen yet before. So I don't think you guys missed out on anything like that. Yeah, Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb is pretty solid. Um, the Cham's down there. We got Meta Cham. Now, like I said, I'm just really hoping it's not a gonna be a consistent issue with it crashing, but we'll see. Because now that's the fear, right? Now I'm just worried like this entire time. Should I take breaks? Should I, like, stop the recording every 10 minutes? Oh, I got excited, but we already caught one of those. At least you still got to see a little bit of excitement from when I first saw him. Um, Redense. I don't... Alright, let's move on. Let's move on. We're not finding anything different here. Alright. We are going to go this direction up here. There they are again, taunting me. I still don't know what the hell this thing is either. Um, okay. We're gonna go this direction. But I think first we'll head here. So we'll go, we'll fly to this spot and then we'll make our way up to that Pokemon Center. And then make our way to the, uh, the next, uh, it's actually a star base, not a gym. And I said not a gym because I was thinking in my mind it was a gym, but it's actually a star base. Oh, it's a little, uh, bird. it's a lot of, uh, weaker Pokemon here. I'm glitched. Nice. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go... I guess we'll go this way. because yeah, now that we can swim, we can access some different areas. There's Fanfy. Big Fanfy fan, big Don fan fan. I'm a big fan of Don Fan. Uh, we got Friddle here. And now that we can jump high and swim in the water, it gives us a little bit more access to different things. Uh, TM. Rock Tomb. What a, an appropriate TM to find here. Um, don't know if we'll see any new Pokemon for a little while, but that's 
Mankey! Didn't mean to run into you there, pal, but here we are. Just gonna run away. Alright, Frittle. I wanna see what's up here real quick. We haven't really explored by these windmills or anything, have we? Pokeball. Oh, hey, an Ultra Ball, hell yeah. I didn't even see this little guy. He blends in with the grass. It's hard to see him. Kappa skin. I'm a big fan of uh, its evolution. Uh, Skullvid, uh, Skullvillain? Skullvill, Skullvillain? I think it's Skullvillain. Big fan. Um, again, if we didn't start with uh, Foycoco, I guess it would have to be if I started with uh, Quaxley. It would be on my team. In fact, when I played through Violet, did I mention this in the gym battle episode as well, or was that in the, uh, it's hard to say now, that sucks, because I feel like I'm going to be repeating myself a lot, um, and I may have already said some of the stuff in the, uh, the, uh, gym leader episode, but basically, uh, I'm going to play through Violet as well at some point, off camera, uh, more than likely, in a different language, probably Japanese, and, uh, because I want to get a Japanese ditto, um, or another language ditto for the Masuda method. Unless I can find some on uh, Discord, someone just train them for like American dittos. But probably won't be able to find that very easily. Anywho, regardless of what language, I'm definitely playing through Violet. I'm going to start with Quaxley probably because I haven't seen Quaxley's full evolution yet. Um, I've only seen the second form when we were in a raid that one time. Speaking of raids, Cricketune. Um. But I was going to play a different language so I can get a uh, ditto in a different language for me and my buddy. And, uh, yeah. That's all I was really going to say about that. Um, iron. Not saying anything new up here, Pokemon wise. Mankey. This is where all those bronze wars and shit was at, right? Oh, we don't have Numel, do we? I don't think we do. Oh, there's a Phalanx as well. We have Phalanx. Uh, we caught a uh, Tetra-sized Phalanx. Let's go! Easy claps, boys. Need to get a Pokemon with false swipe. Since we're getting a little high level here. Numo, the numb Pokemon. Magma from almost 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit courses through its body. When it grows cold, the magma hardens and slows it. Interesting. Good old Numo, huh? That's another one. For the books. Uh, did we battle this trainer yet? If not, he's about to get his ass beat. Oh, man, you're... <laughs> Poor guy's already down. I was at two. I'm no good. No good at all. I got some bad news for you there, bud. <laughs> Adam. Got some bad news for you, Adam. Cute fence. Aw, oh, that's a cute Pokemon, too. I'm so sorry, friend. You know what? I feel so bad. I'm going to sing you a song. A torch song. Ah! 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 See you later, alligator. Now for a row, crocodile. Oh, he's, he's a fucking about to square up. See, I told you. Uh, dude, I could already told you, man. I knew you were amateur hour over here. Got a coin. Got an item. This is the bronze war area, by the way. Um, which we've been before. Son of a biscuit. That's nothing personal, kid. Bronze or fragments, okay. Another item. Elixir. Is that another uh, team starter? Or are we already up here where we wanted to be? I don't think so. Oh crap, we actually are. Oh my bad, damn. 
A little bit. We're already there. Damn. Okay. Banffy. Paralyzed Hill. Damn, my freaking nose, man. Um, I want to get that Pokemon Center first. Ultra Ball times three? Oh, damn. Max Revive? Sick. Another TM. Eerie Impulse. Okay. Alright. I've been having some nice battles? Yeah, you can call it that. 11 trainers. <laughs> Thanks for the prize. Oh, we got some sort of amulet. Gosh darn it. What do we get? Probably in here, right? Amulet. I feel like someone else gave us an amulet once too, and I didn't know what it was. Oh, there it is. A clear amulet. How do I put one this clear sparkly amulet protects the holder from having a stats lowered? Oh, that's kind of neat. Not really uh, something I care about at the moment, but it's neat. See our Pokemon, I guess. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, what a goober. <sighs> Sorry for the yawns, guys. It's actually getting pretty late. And uh, I'm probably going to record at least one more episode after this. Though I probably should. I probably need to go to bed here real soon. But I cannot help myself. Um, I've worked all day and I want to play some Pokemon, man. Um, okay. Uh, so now we need to go towards the base that we were already just at, pretty much. So we will mark the base. It's the dark base. So we will be using, I guess, Wiki, huh? Wiki will be, uh, I guess we're getting uh, Wiki and Rico. Since there are two fighting types. And uh, we can also use Nico as well. Our fairy type. Oh, it's Clive. Our boy. Oh, excuse me. Ruby. Hey there, Clive. I'll play along. Glad to see you got my name committed to memory. Now let's pick up our conversation where we, uh, we left off. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want a team uh, to disband for good. Since joined Operation Starfall with you, I've already had success in opening a dialogue. Oh, you know what Pokemon I did see last episode that we didn't catch when we saw a trainer have? It was the uh, Tumbleweed's evolution. Um, Bumble, uh, not Bum Brumbly, uh, something. Brumble something. But to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Which is cool, I do like the Tumbleweed Pokemon. Um, quite a bit. Alright. So, it's... Sorry. Let's rearrange our team here. Um, we're gonna put you at uh, number one here. We'll put you here, and we'll put you at number three. Because I assume we're going to get the uh, top three for this portion of it. Like we have in the past. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead is the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know, uh, know us as the Sagan Squad. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniff around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, Amiga, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Ruby kid? You know, the piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, she says. Cool as a cucumber. Honest honesty is not always the best policy, you know. Ugh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in a battle, kid. I'll take you on. I'll take you both on at the same time, quite honestly. Sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to be stopped into the dirt.
Murkrow! Excuse me. What level are you? I, oh my god. <laughs> well, sorry, friend. This is gonna be an absolute walk in the park. Why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? Mostly because I guess I went out of order, because uh, we are way ahead of these guys. Well, whatever is your problem now, finish up here for me, would you, bud? Hasta la vista! I really hope in the next game, I like the idea of being able to go like whatever like whatever order you want to go, right? Um, it'd be nice, though, if it kind of uh, leveled up with you, you know what I mean? Oh, if things leveled up with you, that'd be pretty. Everything scaled, I should say, was the word I was looking for. I was getting really tired, so sometimes uh, when I get really tired, my brain doesn't work as properly, <laughs> as I'm sure you guys have also experienced. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in the base and Team Star's Dark Crew, the Sagan Squad, their boss. Giacomo pretty much runs the whole uh, the whole of Team Star, and he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. If the sharp guy, even our declaration of war, won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His fans probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts to finish you off himself. Looks to try to outthink strategic types like him, bring him down with a head-on attack. Okay, easy clap. Damn, I may have to go to bed after this one. Damn it, I wanted to keep playing tonight. <laughs> But it's almost midnight. And your boy is getting kind of tired. Unfortunately. I said I worked all day and I woke up pretty early. Seems like the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you got the skills to kill or defeat 30 of our Pokemon Timmons, our boss might deem you worthy to meet a person. Hit, <laughs> break a leg. All right, let's rock, baby. That means these gym leaders are probably going to be really easy too, huh? That's alright. That honestly means we're probably getting close to finishing like the main story. Because we're not we're running out of like, you know, gems that we can take on and shit. But we still have, I mean, we haven't been to the Great Crater yet, so I'm going to assume that's going to be a big part of like the end game. I have to imagine. We'll encounter some sort of legendary or something. Um, and of course, we have the Elite Four challenge. Alright, easy clap. Ooh, man. Excuse me. She's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. Go over the body of this boss, bro. Giacomo.
The strike does bang. You know the real number on this part of Crasher Ruby, was it? I am Giacomo. <laughs> that all just slurred together in one sense. I am Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vit. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm not, I'm not even gonna read. <laughs> That's getting bad. I'm just getting really tired. I gotta go to bed soon. Damn it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this one up and just go to bed. I wanted to play a bunch tonight. But, I have all day tomorrow, really. Um, Pony Hard! I'm about to get pummeled. Although it is a steel type. We're gonna go hit him with the uh, play rough. Ponyard goes down like a ton of bricks. Rev of room. Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Intimidate. Ha. <laughs> Not today, Junior. I right, want to terrestrialize and we're going to hit with that play rough. About to beat up this car like a Street Fighter minigame. Or bonus stage, I guess. What do you want to call it? Goes for Metal Sound. Play rough. Sayonara, sucker. That's pretty easy. Guess that's that. About a year and a half ago. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You see someone with a laptop in their hand, they're moving like that. Might be thinking they're doing something else. Just saying. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? Big Boss just wait, uh, wanted to take on some stuff, so we had a chance to sell it on a few plans. Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. Now, tons of new members have joined up recently. Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules, like a code. Alright, we gotta deal with the master of, of some sort as well with this team, huh? Of course or no. You force a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. I can't help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth. Your, your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere anywhere near this new code. There you go. You want to trust me times over? Without you, Team Sergeant, this wouldn't work. A stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. Coded by Giacomo, I'm looking at now. I'd follow that any day. As would I. Nice. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? That's our third star badge, baby. I'll give you this choice TM as well. You earned it fair and square. Foul play. Now let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learned those trainer chops at the academy. Like what moves you should use and stuff? Sure did. Okay, you like it at the academy. Have fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kin. Sorry to rush, but are you Giacomo? Whoa ho! Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a quackswell to style that up for you? That's pretty funny. I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure. I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. I uh, see so you're headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities, so why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? Is that what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually wearing out a pal, but we don't know if they'll be coming back. Pal. Okay. They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top, top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? 
They're the one who invited us after uh, us other bosses to form a team. We call him the big boss. Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, maybe a year now. Or a year and a half. We thought that uh, we keep team started going and then get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits. There you go. I wonder if Clive is that leader. It's either going to be Clive or Penny. It has to be, right? Or Cassiopeia. Although I kind of think uh, Penny might be Cassiopeia. Who could also be the leader. So really Penny could be both. They're my greatest treasure. Aww. So Team Star, you know, they're good guys. They just have... Uh, you know, kind of fell in a, uh, into some bad habits. Let's put it that way. They got good hearts. They're misunderstood. Ruby, it's me. Jack of Star Badge is now yours, then. Yep, that's three, baby. Now, Giacomo, two. So I got a lot on my mind right now. So Operation Starfall, you're taking down all but two base, so it's fair to say it's going well. Seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that had first recruited the five squad bosses uh, and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them declared the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. So the big boss never set up their own base. They keep their identity uh, identity hidden. I take it they're not one for the spotlight. Once all the squad bosses are taken out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. How about your reward? I transfer up you over to your phone. Nice. You've earned 7,000 LP. You can now make more kinds of TMs. Have your phone learn strong moves so that they can continue to be use of the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. And here comes Penny. Hey there, Ruby. That uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Ah, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> ah! <sighs> so that mastermind you were talking about, Cassie was mentioning them to me too. He starts firing the person who caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If you don't take them down, I'll lose what treasure I have most in the world. Ah, uh, no, I just... Um, that's right. You need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Okay. Alright, well, I'll be off then. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, and Ruby, don't lose to those guys. I will not. I will beat the hell out of them. Especially if they're level, like, 19 or whatever that dude was. All right, sweet. Let's grab this item over here. Uh, XSP attack. So we're at 33 minutes. Um, no new Pokemon here that we don't have. I kind of want to head over here real quick to Castor Crafa. I know we're a little over time here, but we're going to go there because I'm not going to record anymore after this episode. So we'll go to the Pokemon Center. We'll look at the TMs and see if there's any new ones that we recognize. And uh, we'll go from there. Obviously, if we see any Pokemon we want, we'll catch them along the way. Oh, the Pokemon Center is literally right here. Okay. Looks like there's a trainer, though. Got Barricade. That barricade over there is part of Team Star base. Team Star is, is trouble, so battle me instead. We'll already beat them, so you should be no problem there, pal. Alfredo. Magikarp. Oh my god. You know what? Let's fucking do it. Smash that poor Magikarp. <sighs> Easy clap. Aracuda. Right, we'll swap out. We'll swap out to. Uh, we'll swap out to Peach. We'll seed bomb it. Hmm. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh goddamn it. 
I press A way too fast. Pretty normal for me to do, I suppose. Uh, put it to sleep. And then we're going to put it to sleep uh, on a little bit more permanent basis. Now we're just going to KO it. See, bomb. I almost want to record one more video, but I really shouldn't. I should really go to bed. But I gotta look at it this way. Tomorrow, plenty of time to play. Um, might even finish off all the uh, all the badges tomorrow. I don't know. We definitely get a big chunk done. All right, let's set up uh, the Pokemon Center. All right. Excuse me. Alright, Pokemon are healed up. And we're now at the water gym. Let's see here. Technical machine. Uh, fake tears might be new. Agility might be new. Acid spray might be new. Uh, pounce might be new. Fire spin might be new. Um, hex maybe. Uh, I think we already had rain dance. Body Slam might be new. Mm. Psychic we got from uh, the gym leader. Slow's Bomb we found in the wild. Hurricane we found in the wild. Terror Blast is interesting. So, any Pokemon can learn 80 damage. I wonder what Pokemon we have to beat. Uh, uh, to get the materials for this. Alright, well, I think, guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Before I go to sleep here, um, just taking one little glance. I'm not seeing anything besides Fanfies, which, don't get me wrong, I love Fanfy, but we already got Fanfy. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly look at the map real fast, I'm curious of something. Okay. So, Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. So. Okay, so we have four. Seven more to go. I really could finish tomorrow as far as, like, badges and stuff goes. Especially if they're that low level. It really just depends on how distracted I get by like, exploring, right? So, we have the water gym. And pretty close to that is this uh, Titan Pokemon. I'm going to assume that these are going to be lower level, right? Um, we have some new areas to explore, though, so we might see um, some new Pokemon because we're going to head over to this Titan as well. And I'll finish off all the Titan Pokemon and the upgrades to uh, Koraiden. Excuse me. I'm assuming we'll be able to either climb or fly, like I said before, by that point. Um, so then we can take on this Star Leader. And then make our move into here in this like icy area, and after that, really, there's not like there's nothing left. I mean, it's, you know, gym leader, gym leader, and then boom, star base, right? And I'm sure there'll be a lot to explore, some new Pokemon, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I feel like we're getting pretty close to being done with the story, which is actually kind of sad. They've really been enjoying uh, enjoying Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, obviously, like, at some point, we'll have to get to the crater. I, have, I would have to imagine. Um, and then, of course, the Pokemon League. Obviously, there's still more for us to do because we're going to be, you know, doing the Living Pokedex. Um, I'm going to be Shiny Hunting at some point once I figure out how to do that. I'm not going to look that up until we finish the game, though. And there might be some post-game stuff, too. I don't know. There might be. There might be some missions or something to do or legendaries to catch or something. I have no clue. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'm the Evermore Daniels. Being your farewell. Peace and one love. Bang!